Hey guys, this is Druent here, and this is my low-level DIY account guide. This will teach you the basics of stuff in DIY, and also um, free items that you can get, good quests to start you off, and also some tips and an interview from one of the DIYers I know personally. So let's begin with free items. Down here in the cook cook's assistant um, place, you can find a bowl, an empty pot, and a jug. And if you go down into the basement, underneath this trapdoor here, you can find leather boots, you can find a knife, a bucket, some cabbage, and also another jug. Later on, you'll probably be coming back to this place for a quest, but that's for you to discover. You can also find a bronze pickaxe up here. This is quite useful, as it is the first pickaxe that you will probably use, unless you turn to members immediately, where you'll get a dwarven uh, warhammer or something like that. And it's pretty much every tool that you'll ever need. Another useful spot you might find is this um, chicken pen. Some of you may be asking why would I want to go to a chicken pen, other than the feathers that can be used for fly fishing by killing these guys. There is also a bronze hatchet if you take it from right here, which will be essential to start wood cutting. Unless, of course, as I said, you start off as a members, then you get that dwarven uh, war axe. For free members, this bronze hatchet will take you a long way. And on to the next free item. And some other items that you can get are in this fishing shop in Lumbridge is a small fishing net and a crayfish cage. Note that these free sample items are available to get. These are not. And if you go over to the general store you'll find some more free stuff that you could use in your adventures. Such as a hammer, a tinderbox, and a bronze dagger. Now note, to any member that starts as a level 3, you'll get something called the Dwarven War Axe. I know I have been mentioning it quite a bit, but it, it is a useful tool. Not only is it an axe for woodcutting, it is also a pickaxe, a tinderbox, a needle, and a chisel. Those are some pretty useful items, and it's great to harness stuff like stuff like that. And onwards. The Blood Pact is a great quest to do. Not only can you access an awesome dungeon, you get level 2 attack, strength, defense, range, and magic. Also, you get a unique set of weaponry that you can use against these low-level creatures in this dungeon. Another quest that you might recommend doing is the Knight Sword. With the Knight Sword, you can get a great start on smithing with 12,725 smithing XP. This will boost your smithing level from 1 to 29, which is enough to make a full set of iron and get you off pretty good. Two other quests I might recommend is the Restless Ghost and finally the Waterfall quest. Each one granting a lot of XP. One place you may want to consider going is the Strongholds of Security. This place has some great starting money for you for anyone going after um, construction and summoning since you have to buy soul shards. This is also a good place to get uh, fighting boots or colorful boots, whatever they are, and they are pretty good boots, way better than um, leather boots. Another place you can go is the Stronghold of Safety. Here you can um, get another 10k and you can get fight um, safety gloves, not fighting gloves. These fighting gloves are actually pretty useful for a free member since the only other type of uh, thing that can protect your hand is gloves, which give nothing, and um, the gauntlets from Fist of Gunthix. Alright guys, so we have uh, 
RuneScape player here, so we're going to interview him. That's it guys, rate, subscribe, and comment on this video. Also, I have put in the description a clan chat that does DIY. If you wish to join, just add me or one of the people that I have as well. Thanks, and enjoy the video.